All right, what's up, YouTube? Gotta make this intro quick because I'm already late to go meet Austin, but he's got some new parts on his truck, a lot of new parts, actually. So I gotta show y'all everything he did and uh, got some new parts for my truck too. We're putting this on later in the video. Uh, I'm going to meet him. I gotta show y'all something I did. I uh, kind of broke it and kind of, uh, no, I kind of broke something, but it worked out because it sounds good. So uh, we'll walk out through that real quick. But some of y'all may know I had a cutout exhaust system on this truck. I had it on Bluetooth remote. I press a button and it come out the end through a muffler. I had to open it up and it dumped the exhaust right underneath this back door. And here's what the cutouts look like when they're taken off the truck and you cut all the wires and take all the bolts out and they're just a pile of junk because they break, they get too hot. Hold up. And when you go down the road, they sound like this. So now the exhaust is partially dumped. It's like open here and open here, but the muffler gives a little bit of resistance. So a lot of it comes out, I don't know. So the truck sounds exactly like you think it would. It is insanely loud. Um, this truck is cam for anybody new. I have a stage two BTR truck cam. So I'm um, gonna give y'all a call start. Austin right now uh, he hasn't heard it in person since I've done this so we'll get his opinion on it and he's got a lot of things on his truck that I haven't seen in person yet only pictures so uh, got a lot to show y'all pull up on me I want I want six and seven V reps please I want the new Cadillac wheels all right so if you don't keep up with Austin because let's be honest who does uh, we're gonna hide this real quick. All right, so cow hood, what is it? Four inch? Two. I ain't getting Never mind. Inch. All right, two inch cow hood, paint matched. Paint is mostly matched. Looks good. Looks good. Matches. It matches pretty good. All right, so we go back here. Go back here to the roll pan. Paint matched roll pan. All right. You got the tailgate repainted. Oh. And there was a big dent right here. We're going to spend dent. our time talking about this dent. Huge dent. Massive dent right it here. Made me cry every time I looked at the truck. And it's I mean, all fixed though. There's still, no, there's still a little bit of a dent right there. I'm going to take it back to the body shop and I'm going to get them to redo this. As you can see, it don't, it don't match down there. But well, it's, it's good enough for now. Yeah. All right, and we'll be rolling on now. <laughs> we'll be rolling on. We'll be rolling okay. on. Wheels. 26 by 14. HC 19s, oh, 37 by, what are these, 1250? Yeah, 1250, I think. Or are they 1350s? They're 1350s. Bow. I traded straight from 22s and 37 graphs. I don't even know if your channel's seen them. Yep. You had to go to my channel to watch that video. What can I say? 20s and 37s that you stole off an old man on Marketplace. Added $500 oh, you just, cash oh, just for just some 22s. How much money I got in these 26s? Yeah, he's got. Fourteen hundred dollars in this. Fifteen hundred dollars in this setup. That don't mean you can come buy for two thousand because I'm not stupid. He ain't gonna sell for two grand, but he's got fifteen hundred dollars in this setup. All right, so he's getting his truck cleaned up. Y'all see him back there slaving. We're gonna get him some rollers for his little reveal video that he does on his channel. If anybody watches that, we do have shirts coming out real soon. We are taking like a bunch of pre-orders. If y'all got us on Snapchat. We are selling shirts at a 35 a piece. It's kind of high in my opinion, but we really can't get them made any cheaper. So I don't want y'all to think we're out here making our first million off you guys. That's just what it costs to get the design done and get them screen printed, shipping, all that stuff. I'll put my design right here. And because I'm a good friend, I'll put Austin's up here somewhere too. All right, so if y'all do want one of those shirts, make sure you add us on Snapchat, Instagram, something. All of my links to my socials are always in my bio of my YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. And some of y'all might not have noticed yet, I do have new quad row wheel lights on. These are from Wheel Light Express. Uh, I had a full install video on these that never got posted. I had some things come up right after scraping. I had to take a little break from all the social media stuff, focus on real life. But we're good and we're back. So I am an affiliate now for Wheel Light Express. My link is in the description of every video, as well as my link for LG Billet. Shout out to those guys over at LG Billet. They've always taken care of me. 
I'm gonna be talking about them later in the video as well. You gotta say something before you leave. You leaving already? No, I'm gonna get gas. Oh. Caden said y'all didn't uh, slide good enough for him to come out here with this shit. Slide good enough? Yeah, y'all went hard enough. Caden said that, that I'm just not sliding hard enough for him to come out. But also said please trade me, so I don't know. Maybe it's kind of contradicting, you know what I'm saying? So we'll get these things washed up. I might have a couple rollers of mine in there, but I'm really not here for me. I'm here to help Austin out. I don't know why I haven't said it yet. It kind of just hit me that this is my first video since I hit 10K. So thank you so much for that. It means the world to me. Thank y'all so much for coming back week after week. Thank y'all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to. If you haven't liked this video yet, please do that. Y'all gotta let me know what you think of Austin though. I'm not gonna lie. This is the best it's looked and he did make a come up. I mean. He traded twice, added cash one time, then traded straight. And to have this set up for $1,500. Brother, will you please hurry up? Them big boots are slowing you down. I gotta work tomorrow. I gotta be up so early. That's your choice. Don't hate me, cause I'm beautiful. If you got rid of that yee ass haircut, you get some bitch How about that? What? Oh. Y'all really didn't get to hear it earlier when it was warming up. This thing is talking. Y'all can see it just dumps out right here. Well, I'm about to go break on the hole. There's no cow. No little double O go up scope. See, you want to lay with the hoe. I don't serve any moving and breaking the hoe. Ain't no drinking real rocks, so I'm tasting the dough. Every car that I drive, got a Glock in the dough. If the knock hit the spot, then I run through the dough. Get out of there quickly, that's all that I know. See, I'm off with DVD, I'm tagging his toe. And this shit that you brag on, it really be broke. When you smoking this out of this shit, make you choke. If you come from the block, then I'm giving you hoes. See, I was just stuck on the boat, some nigga was broke. But I knew that I always would blow. She played with that word, then it murders you roll. I get full of that perk, and I fucking roll. Really the thud, he really was taking a fall. I'ma kill out the judge if he go up the road. I'ma pull the take I turn to my soul. Got a baby, baby cat is a drink on the road. Got a baby Kim K and she scraped from the dome. She like rolling woods, so she never be so. I could be in the hoop. Let them know how they came out. Here's a few good ones. A few good ones? Yeah. I'm never happy with but any, I think it's just my truck, bro. You're not happy with the truck? Everything you ever wanted roll pan, cow hood, clear tail lights, 26 by 14s. It's so small. It's too low to be so wide. What are you doing, bro? OBS Greg doing? filling my truck up. Cause he ain't got no damn money. That 87 cause I'm poor. He don't poor. work no more, bro. I'm poor. He don't work no more. He sits at home and plays that damn football game cause he's a bum. No money, no bitch. Nothing, bro. Go to work. Actually, I ain't looking to the steel factory and they get dirty. Dude, you got ants in your truck too, buddy. Look at that. Look, bro. They getting in your cab. Getting in your cab. All right, so we just finished the rollers up. I have to finish this video tomorrow after I get off work. My truck will be in the Flawless Lives booth this weekend in Tunica, Mississippi. So I'm very excited for that. Got to get it all shined up, looking right. I'm going to head home, get some rest, and I'll pick it up tomorrow afternoon, finish this video off. All right, what's up, guys? It is the next day. We're going to run out here, show you all this new part I got for the truck. And uh, we got to get it washed up. So we got to move kind of quick, but um, let me show you what I got. All right, it's been sitting around for maybe two weeks now. Don't want to show you my address, but y'all see where it came from. My guys over at LG Billet. So I'm kind of cheating because I already know what's in the package for the last month of my sponsorship. For anybody that don't know, they sent me a part a month for three months. Uh, this is the last month they asked me what I wanted. And for the past three months, I've been begging them for this part. So y'all can see this is the LG Billet column shifter. Keeps your factory tow haul button on the end and comes with two connectors. I'm actually not 100% sure on how to do this install. This is probably the most involved one I've had yet. I'm also most excited for this one. So uh, I'm gonna back the truck up, get it in some good lighting, and then we'll get started. For anybody new, y'all can see we have the LG Billet headlight switch and the LG Billet steering wheel tilt lever. These were both really easy installs, but this one's a little bit more complicated. First thing you gotta do, we're gonna take off this fuse panel, just simple enough, just pulls right off. Got a little bit of some jank wiring in there, ignore that. And then uh, got some seven millimeter screws on the bottom of this. We're gonna take this panel off right here. Next, we're gonna turn the key on, put the truck all the way down in the first gear, and then take off this dash cover, which just pops right out. If you have a 9906 truck, you know about this little sticker behind the dash. Uh, shout out to Mike H, wherever you're at, almost 20 years later. 
Next, we're supposed to take out two Torx bits from here and here, but uh, I just found out my truck doesn't have those. So take this little screw out and then we got four 10 millimeter bolts here, here, and then two on that side. All right, so to give you a little side by side, this is the OEM. This is the part by LG Billet. And this is the tow haul wire right here. All right, so this is the first look at it. You see, we got the screw put in. We got the wire ran for the tow haul right here. And right there at the top right, the tow haul button does work. It's all put in. The bottom of the steering column, I left that thing off because this column shifter boot, 20 years old now, it's got some rips and some cuts in it. So I'm gonna order a new one, and then finish putting this back on. And from the driver's seat, it all looks normal. But I wanna give one last shout out to LG Billet. This was the first month part, the second month part, and of course the last and third month let me decide what I wanted, how to get the column shifter. Like I was saying earlier, we're all getting up super early tomorrow morning, going to Tunica, Mississippi, because we're all gonna be in the Flawless Wiz booth. That'll be the very next video after this is already posted. And I wanna thank all 10,000 of you guys. Uh, this is just the beginning. I think at the time I'm recording this, we're actually close to 11,000 than we are 10,000. The first 10K is always the hardest, so I'm very excited to see where I can go with this YouTube stuff. And uh, I got a lot planned. I got a new lift, y'all know that. I got a new truck coming real soon if I can ever get off my butt and finish it but there's no shortage of ideas i just need the time and a little bit of money because uh, as a college student i'm not really rolling in it but thank you guys the ones that come back week after week the guys that comment the guys that have me on social media always talking to me about the videos what they see what they like and uh tomorrow morning's gonna get here real early so i'm gonna cut this off i'll see you guys next time we'll be at the show yo we're trying to end this video off but where did all these ants come from Twenty six by tens.